first approached me to share a little bit about Report IQ at the SEDC Users Conference. First of all, I was stoked um, because I think Report IQ is so cool. Um, and so any opportunity I have to share about Report IQ, I'm all game for. Um, I've had a couple people ask like, well, what, how much could you share? I'm like, I could talk for hours about Report IQ because I think it is such an awesome tool and so neat. Um, so when I started thinking about, okay, what am I going to share? What would be most useful? What would have been useful to me? Um, so my first experience was five years ago at the Users Conference. So I tried to put myself in those shoes again and what I could have used five years ago. Um, so what I settled on is um, a six part series so the first session will be a prep session. So this, um, I'm trying to tie in some pieces that even if you have used Report IQ for a few years, that there will be some things that you might still find useful in this, but I'm also trying to make it accessible so that if this is your very first time, you've never opened Report IQ, this will be your first time seeing Report IQ, um, that this is something that you can definitely still learn from, get your feet wet, things that I struggled with at the beginning that I, it took five times telling me before it finally clicked, hoping to help clear up some of those things that were muddy for me for those people. Um, and then following that prep session, that should kind of help you set, set you up for those follow along sessions. And then we'll have five follow along sessions. Um, and those sessions can be taken in any order. Um, the very first one is a member summary. Um, so that one's going to be the easiest, most simple. I think it'll be accessible to everyone, um, useful for everyone. And then from there, there will be a, um, and I might be getting these out of order, but a year in review, service order report, um, lots of different things. And I tried to pick, and there's an accounts payable report as well. So I tried to pick um, a couple different types of variety of ports so that even if maybe this isn't something that you're as interested in, you could maybe still find something useful to you. Another thing that I'm trying to do is Report IQ is kind of like making cookies. So if you search the web, you can find tons of different recipes on chocolate chip cookies. They're all gonna turn out great, but there might be slight variations. So there's multiple ways to do things in Report IQ. Um, so my goal is to show you throughout these reports, instead of doing the same thing the same way, is to show different variations. So even if you take all six of the sessions, that you can still learn different ways to do something so you can find your favorite Report IQ recipe.